Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting reading to episode 19 of Delicious Party Pretty Here, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Babies are finally complete. Yay! Mm hmm. That's so sweet, oh my god! <laughs> Damn, Mary. No, damn it. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. She in the first part of the opening, though. in the morning on this energy. <laughs>
So then that's the reason why Simeon was... Ah! <laughs> it's all making sense now. Okay. See, this is why, once again, you know, Toei, you really kind of screwed up with the fact is, okay, the movie comes out, what, in September? And y'all didn't want to do a Kitty Kitty crossover with this show? Like, are you serious? We'll, we'll talk more after about that, because, like, ooh. Okay. Okay, why don't we just take both? <laughs> oh, God. Is this really a good idea? Now, if Amane and Ron are in a group together, it's simple gear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but watch. <laughs> if it is, I swear to God. Yeah, like, you know what, when the freak are you gonna do something, woman? Like, you really always have to send him out. They're literally gonna make us wait until episode 25 for the new eye gudge. Damn, no. You didn't do it. No Simpho gear feels today. Oh, you're so mean! <laughs>
these two are just you're getting distracted <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it's literally almost four o'clock in the morning and once again this show is making me hungry Please tell me we're getting the group transformation. Not yet. Okay. All right. I can wait. I can wait. Because you know, mm -hmm, yes. <laughs> Best girl still has to get her own screen time. <laughs> oh, my God. You just want to fast forward through these three and be like, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs>
Now, my thing, okay, the pose for all of them, it, it's going to be that one pose. It is, damn, like, mm. well, we'll see. I could be wrong. Yeah, it looks better now. Thank you. Oh my God, because of course, that's all you freaking need is the last care to make it better. That's not going to work. Mm. <laughs> oh, well, finally he comes in. Wait, get in. See? Like, ooh. How many episodes has it been? Like, oof. Girlfriend saves the girlfriend. Yay! easy.
Too much. It's only her second freaking episode, or what is it like? Not even second, third, or fourth. Like, oh my god, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much. It's like, oh my god. Okay, let's talk about the big elephant in the room with Mary Cinnamon and Black Pepper. We know that, of course. As the audience, we know that Mary, nope, take out Mary, take out Mary. Cinnamon and Black Pepper, they're related. Cinnamon is Black Pepper's dad. Mary doesn't know that. And so Mary accuses and still thinks that Cinnamon was the one who stole something, but he's going to eventually find out that no, it wasn't Cinnamon. So there's got to be an episode, and I'm guessing they're going to have to do it at least by 25, 30 when we get into the nitty gritty backstory of this series and the connection of them. Because of course, his dad is out to sea with Yui's dad. And who knows the next time he's gonna pop up. So, the, no, cause see the next time he's gonna have to pop up is when they talk about him. So boom, let's say that's next week. It might happen. Who knows? I want a cake. Like that cake looked really good. I'm just, once again, 4.08 in the morning, and I'm hungry. Still a little sleepy, too, but I gotta get ready and edit. Oh, this is so weird! This is weird. See, I love the fact is, like, you know, we go back to a couple of months ago when they were giving us, like, promo arts, and now we're finally getting the freaking outfits and the promo arts for the episode. It's like, wow, like, let's go. Let's fucking go. Like, but yeah, we, we need that. We, we freaking need the Mary Cinnamon Black Pepper backstory, like, A as freaking P. Don't do it like freaking, um, mm, well, with Healing Good, Healing Good, like, really pulled the teeth on the connection of, um, what's-his-face and freaking, uh, Nadoka. And, and that, like, I mean, it's not bad, but at the same time, when you're, like, when you are itching and dying to see something, just to see when you're, like, am I correct? Am I wrong? Like, you need to know. And such, you just hate the fact that you have to wait such a long freaking time on something and said so this is like how <laughs> where it was like I think it was something for either Kitty Kitta or Hagato or one of one of the other series that I reacted to for Freddy here and I had like a really interesting question and an interesting theory and then that didn't get answered until several episodes later and I hated waiting for it and I was like bruh like no let's like nip that ish in the book uh, in the butt I understand we gotta have some filler ass episodes I get it because, you know, Kokone and Ron and Yui, yeah, they need their focus. Because, you know, it's it really, because, you know, and I got to say this too. And it's always kind of like this when the final gear comes into play. Um, especially if you look at, let's say, hmm, let's say happiness charge. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's say all the way to Miss Little Kira Fontaine, aka Miss Little Asuna Yuki from SAO. Um, when the last cure always comes in, they are like the, um, the new and improved leader. They do take kind of orders all the time. Not really sometimes, but like ish in a way, but like the two leader, like our original leader and the, like the final cure, they're all 
always the head honchos, no matter what, straight up. This episode was kind of like that. Like, Amane is literally coming more into her own as a character and a person and as a leader. But then at the same time, it makes me also think about Healing Good and how Hinata didn't get that focus. And so what I'm kind of hoping with this show as well is that they give Kokone and Ron the focus that Hinata didn't get. When you're looking at something like freaking Tropical Rouge or any other group, because remember, this is a group of four girls. You're able to give every single girl development in every single episode, unlike something, aka Tropical Freaking Rouge Pretty Cure, where you had a group of five girls. Or even Kita Kita Pretty Cure a la Mo, which had six girls. And I think six girls is the biggest that we've had for this series, right? I mean, for, an, for a, a typical Pretty Cure season. And our lowest is usually like three. Um, when it's like three, two to three to four girls in a group, it's hella easy to, to give everybody development. But when it's four, I mean, not four, when it's five to six, it's a lot harder. And so, like I said, I just, I need to like let Kokone and Ron get that screen time so that when we come back to a year from now and we're looking at this show as a whole, I'm not over here being like, well, damn, in the beginning, love the hell out of Ron and Kokone, but you know, because of the typical, because this has happened before, the overpowering and overshadowing of a new cure, getting a lot of focus leads episodes, which... Of course, I'm always like that with the new curious and I'm like, yes, I love any episode where we get to focus on, like, a new girl, but at the same time, we get to see an old girl get focused as well. There's times where it feels like when you're done, you feel like a character, let's say Ron, for an example, or even Kokone, or even, you know, we can say Hinata from Healing Good, doesn't feel the greatest because of the fact is there's, like, episodes for that character missing. But that's only because of the fact is, COVID screwed up healing good. We all know COVID screwed up healing good hella bad. And if COVID didn't screw it up, then yeah, of course, I think Hinata would have been able to have the, what, six remaining episodes that were supposed to be about her to get the generic focus. But I mean, yeah, the episode was good. Like I said, it made me hungry. I want some cake, <laughs> of course. But it's four in the morning and there's no way in hell I'm making cake at four in the morning. But it was sweet. I mean, I love the fact that, you know, we got to see more of Ayami's brother's past. And then, of course, the situation on Mary. Like I said, we need to get that answered ASAP. Okay? At least by episode 30. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 19 of Delicious Party Pretty Here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys either on Saturday or Sunday for episode 20. Because, you know, like I said, with the other two videos, and we are going into Hell Week, and I will be busy all this week. But I should be able to... When I come home Saturday, I should be able to get this out by the end of the night. Um, I know I'm going to be, like, hella tired and ish because I know when I come home Saturday, I'm going to be like, I'm going to sleep. And you can't tell me because I, I just know, like, I'm going to be freaking tired by the end of this week. If You know, the money's going to be worth it, but I'm going to be very tired. But just be real patient with me with this whole six days of my, like, hell. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.